So what if I told you that you are just one email away from boosting your revenue by thousands? The moment that you shift your focus as a business owner towards growing and nurturing your email list instead of chasing social media followers or chasing that fleeting dopamine hit you get when a piece of social media content gets a flurry of likes, that's the moment when your business will truly take off. And I know I sound like a broken record. I talk about email marketing so often, but your email list really is that important. And you might feel like it just takes too long or you've tried everything, or you just would rather your, focus your, uh, your time and efforts on social media marketing. And so if those things ring true for you, I'm here to challenge you to uh, a new mindset and help you recognize the incredible value of email marketing. So in this episode, I'm going to share a bunch of reasons why your email list should take center stage over your social media followers, why social media is great for organic marketing, having a large following doesn't always translate into revenue, whereas your email list is your direct line to your audience of buyers where you get to make a bigger impact on the market all while scaling your unstoppable e-commerce business. And honestly, what more could you ask for? So today I'm going to talk about proof that email lists are more effective for scaling your business than having a lot of social media followers, the surprising difference in conversion rates between social media marketing and email marketing, real life examples of when email marketing made thousands for my businesses, why a revenue boost is always just one email away, and tips for staying consistent, putting in the effort, and having a direct relationship with your audience. I want you to listen in because when you have a thriving email list, you have the power to strengthen your customer relationships, provide massive value, and sell your products like never before. Social media marketing and email marketing differ fundamentally in approach and impact. Social media marketing engages audiences, you know, through a variety of different interactive platforms and they help to foster brand awareness and customer interaction. So it is a great place to encourage that initial brand discovery, whereas email marketing is a more direct and personalized essentially sales and marketing channel that really focuses on nurturing customer relationships and really does make it that ideal medium for conversions. Social media has become a major fixture in the online marketing landscape uh, and it's easy to see why. I mean, social media offers the ability to quickly reach new audiences around the world and potentially go viral in the process. Wouldn't we all love that every day of the week? But any success that you enjoy with social media often has a fairly short lifespan and it really does rely on that constant hustle and hype, you know, the real rah-rah kind of stuff uh, on an ongoing basis. And even then, a great piece of content is only visible for a fairly fleeting moment before it's yesterday's history. Now, email marketing, on the other hand, has been around for a lot longer. On the surface, it may seem a lot less exciting, perhaps, than social media. Uh, if your brand underestimates the power of email, however, you could be seriously missing out on some opportunities to generate a lot more new and repeat customers, both of whom make money for your business. Email really is still very much alive and it's not going away anytime soon. In many ways, email can be even more effective than its social media counterparts. Now, I don't believe that there are many businesses in the world today that can have success with digital marketing without social media marketing forming part of their overall strategy. I mean, social media is where our audiences hang out these days. So if we want to increase the rate of brand discovery, we absolutely do need to tap into those audiences. But the crucial thing is to then move those audiences onto your own email list where you own it and you can take advantage of the more effective conversion results that you can enjoy from email marketing. So let me share a few of those conversion rates. So your open or view rate for a piece of content is 39% with email marketing, particularly if you're on Klaviyo, or only 2 to 4% on social media. Click-through rate with emails is 5% versus social media 1.36%. Conversion rate with emails, 8% versus maybe 3% with social media. 
your return on investment, about 3,600% with email, maybe 180% with social media. Uh, now here's where the stats flip a little bit. Your maximum reach on email marketing, it's limited to the size of your email list, whereas on social media, it's kind of unlimited. So there are pros and cons for both. And so the pros uh, for email marketing start with the fact that it's targeted and personalized. It is a targeted and personalized method of communication. So email marketing really does allow for you to communicate in a much more personalized way with your audience. And that is what helps to increase the likelihood of conversion. Uh, this is one of the main reasons why um, myself and my team here absolutely love and recommend Klaviyo as the best email marketing tool for e-commerce businesses. It really is built for uh, you know, the, the functional way that an e-commerce business runs and that customers interact with your website and purchase from you. Uh, but also because it just has so much um, it's, it's such a clever system. It's got so much built into it that enables you to dynamically personalize the content of the emails to your audience or to the specific customer, in fact. And that is what increases the likelihood of conversion. Uh, obviously, higher open rates and click-through rates, uh, you know, email really does have those um, incredibly high open and click-through rates compared to social media, uh, you know, basically because the recipient has explicitly opted in to receive the con content, which is, of course, very different from social media, where, you know, we really have to work very hard uh, with that piece of content to stop the scroll and get more than a fleeting uh, glance at our piece of content. Higher conversion rates, uh, obviously, uh, what we want in business. So that conversion or, you know, from view to purchase. Uh, email marketing is known for having pretty much the highest return on investment, perhaps outside of word of mouth recommendations, and can drive a lot more sales more effectively than social media, as it really does allow, again, for that targeted and personalized communication with your customers and with your email subscribers. It, it is a database that you own. This I probably should have put this first. This is the biggest uh, pro for email marketing you own this uh, audience, right? So email marketing provides businesses with that direct line of communication with their customers and subscribers. And because you own this database, you own this audience, people have explicitly opted in and subscribed. Uh, it gives you as the business owner much more control over obviously the message and the content that you're sharing, but also over your ability to generate revenue in, in your business. When you build an audience on social media, yes, there's value there for sure, but you do not own that audience on social media. Um, Mark Zuckerberg probably owns most of it. You know, there's a few other platforms as well, but all of those audiences are owned by the platforms. And time and time again, I will see a platform, a social media platform changes their algorithm and a business that had built up an incredible uh, you, you know, revenue generating audience on that platform, they just lose it straight away. And it just, you know, their ability to convert or reach, let alone convert that audience drops off a cliff. So having an audience that you own is incredibly valuable and important in your business. Uh, and then the last thing I want to mention here as being super favorable for email marketing is the measurable results because email marketing, particularly in a platform like Klaviyo, provide really clear metrics and analytics. And, you know, that helps you as the business owner to measure the success of your campaigns and make better data-driven decisions. Now, what's good about social media marketing? I mean, there are plenty of good things in here and I'm not here to say that just because email marketing is a more important vehicle for, vehicle for sales conversions that social media isn't important. It definitely is, like I said earlier, uh, incredibly useful for increasing brand discovery. And obviously, as a business owner, as an e-commerce brand owner, you need more and more people to, to discover that you exist, right? So number one, obviously, you have a much wider reach with social media marketing. And, you know, there are billions of active monthly users on multiple platforms at making social media an excellent tool for building that brand awareness and reaching new audiences and building some, you know, 
engaged audiences before you even try to sell to them, right? You, you know, you have the potential potential to go viral even on social media. You know, it is social media is the way it's uh, built. It's designed to facilitate the sharing of information and content among its users. So when you're able to create a really great piece of content, you know, you have the chance of it going viral and really growing a life of its own uh, and reaching a lot of uh, individuals that you might not otherwise have reached. Social media does have the ability to provide real-time communication with your audience. Uh, and that, you know, can be a great customer service tool. You know, you can start to uh, respond really quickly to customer uh, questions or inquiries and things of that nature. Um, particularly with Facebook groups, I would say is one of the best uh, avenues for that. I have some clients who do an amazing job with nurturing and building their customer group audiences, and they provide a really amazing tool for customer service, but also just really building that kind of VIP audience who, sure, they buy from you, you know, much more frequently, but they also provide great feedback about product development and promotions and things of that nature, which can help you as the business owner make uh, better marketing decisions and plans. Social media does have great visual appeal. You know, they are very visual focused platforms. And so for you as a brand owner looking to showcase your products, uh, you can do so really effectively through images and videos. And then finally, with social media marketing, it is pretty low cost, right? So it's not a very expensive marketing channel. Uh, so it can be accessible for businesses of all sizes. I will put a little caveat on that, though, and just say, you know, when we really want to uh, be, get consistent traffic and sales from uh, social media marketing, we pretty much do need to put some money on ads to help with that. But it doesn't mean that you uh, can't get value uh, just from organic social media marketing. You definitely can. Now, with conversion metrics like email marketing and the relatively low cost of email marketing, it becomes pretty clear that the bigger your email list and the more you are able to use that list in a strategic way, the more you can monetize your audience, which, of course, that's what you want as a business owner. In fact, mastering email marketing effectively helps you to increase your new customer conversions and increase your repeat customer rate. And that's going to lead you to much more lucrative customer lifetime values and the net profitability of your business. I mean, when you think about it, you know, to convert a first time customer, you know, oftentimes you are spending some money on traffic, on ads to get traffic to your website, but you're often also giving up a bit of discount to uh, entice that first purchase. That's pretty common across most e-commerce businesses these days. So when you can encourage that uh, customer to come back and buy again and again, obviously that customer becomes much more profitable to your business. Um, and, you know, it saves you having to acquire as many new customers to make the same amount uh, of revenue. I remember when I first started out in business, I heard a mentor say that when you learn how to write great marketing emails, you will always be able to make money in your business. And honestly, that has proven true again and again. So let me give you some examples of when email marketing literally made me tens of thousands of dollars in my business. And probably my favorite uh, example, and I've been able to pull this off multiple times myself and with some of my clients as well, is when launching a new product and being able to pre-sell enough of that product to essentially fund the pr production run. And doing so via email, I mean, you know, as an e-commerce business owner, uh, particularly if you are like me, where you are designing and manufacturing your own products, uh, you know, that's a huge amount of capital that you need to invest up front. And if you can pre-sell a bunch of that to really essentially fund a production run, then you not only do you 